day has finally came where we are in go going to be installing a dead lit spoiler on the BMW. Um, we got a carbon fiber spoiler for it. Um, so, you know, um, once again, I'm really, really short on time, but I wanted to go ahead and um, try to install it today because uh, I got the carbon fiber mirror caps that came in for the car and I it wouldn't be just, it wouldn't be fair to install the carbon fiber mirror caps without installing the spoiler first. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? That way it'll match the spoiler with the mirrors and the door handles. Uh, the door handles, I'm 100% sure they are not carbon fiber, like real carbon fiber, but it don't matter to me. So yeah, let's get started to this. Um, I'm gonna be doing like, again, a time lapse, um, but I'll show you the way I did it on the Lexus, which to be to align it everything right. And so it doesn't look messed up. But first of all, let's clean this up a bit so we can get to it. All right, then now that I cleaned up the area with some uh, isopropyl alcohol, uh, let's do a little fitment test on it to see that it's going to fit, actually. I haven't done it yet, because as you can see, it's still in the box. All right, so this is the, the spoiler, the deck lit spoiler, the little M, uh, M3 styled, as you can see, Get the little fins. Um, it has some, some holes already pre-drilled on the bottom, but we're not gonna be drilling into the, well, we're not gonna be drilling it into the car. I'm just not a big fan of drilling, but so they did include some uh, 3M um, adhesive tape, double-sided tape. So we're gonna be pre-setting, uh, pre-installing it on the deck lid. But first, I'm gonna do a little uh, pre-fitment test on it just to make sure that it's gonna be good. And uh, shoot, I forgot to bring some uh, double, some um, masking tape to align it well. Oh well, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so there is the pre-fitment. Yeah, it's not. It's not taped yet. Um, this thing is aggressive, like hugely aggressive. And you know what's pissing me off now? That the wheels are still a stock wheel and it looks so freaking weird. But uh, let's get a rear view. Ooh, that looks good. I like the way it matches with the black tail lights and the license plate. Let's get a side profile. Oh yeah. We gotta, we gotta do something about those wheels. At least paint them for a bit. Or for a while but yeah let's uh, do the double-sided tape and let's get finished with this installation by the way it's pretty accurate the way it aligns so you can see right there like i just need to push it a little bit more and it'll be perfect but um it's pretty close like i said it's still not glued on so i can move it but, but you know so let's uh, add the double-sided tape All right, so there is the double-sided tape installed. I went ahead and added two lines um, I, because I want to do a little pre-test. Maybe I'll add a third one, but I'm not sure because I want you know to be flush as possible. I don't want it to be bulky. So let's, let's do a little test fit. Okay, so for some reason, I feel like this part right here isn't making enough contact. So I'm gonna try to move this strip and put it like more to the center since it's making a little more contact right there. And also add another layer, maybe uh, here in the corners where it's um, gonna be sitting a little more flush to it. apply some pressure once you're installing this so that he's so the double-sided tape can you know actually stick to it and because with the wind the downforce is gonna pull you know put some strain on this so you want to make sure that it's well in there you know it's well glued in there otherwise you know you can say bye-bye to it on uh whenever you hit some uh, high speeds 
and we do not want this thing to fly off. Okay. There it is, guys. Installed on the car. I pretty much got it right. You know, pretty well aligned. As you can see. That's a... That's a big wing. I like this back look, though. You know, it matches well with the lights, like I said. It does. It does look big. As you can see. It's a lot bigger than the one that Lexus had. But, uh, oh well. I just hope it does not fall off <laughs> when I'm hitting uh, 60 or something. So, yeah, now let's just clean it up and clean up this mess. And uh, we're done with this video. There it is, guys. Um, there's the wing installed on the car. Um, I like it. At least, well, at least from this angle, it doesn't look that big. And I like the little fin on each side. But as you come to the side, it is huge. Which I'll grow into it, I'm pretty sure, once I do everything else to the car. Uh, we're going to be wrapping the roof carbon fiber um, so it'll match all the carbon, little carbon fiber accents that the car has. It'll match the tail lights as well. And um, definitely would have need to do something to the wheels because it looks weird now with all the black accent. And uh, as I said, we're going to be putting in the um, carbon fiber mirrors and the sequential uh, turning signals next. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Peace.